happy manic monday again guys so this is the second commentary for the match that was played first in the double header round that had the following schools featured um campion college campion college and um meadowbrook high and meadowbrook comes back as um a wild card and it was so very much well deserving that they have been called back because they did put on a stellar performance despite the fact that they didn't win them still they deserve a chance to come back again and unfortunately them them just as quick as them come in as I, I saw them I go I saw them I go out so them I go out so champion champion me see champion but it's like me never see champion if you get me so what I mean by that is I saw a champion, but me not see the champion what me used to. Um, and I'm going off past teams that have risen to the, the challenge. They were a force to be reckoned with. Um, they would have come with them. A game. There was a girl I remember. Um, Miss Chin. I remember her name. She never yet miss a beat from current affairs or on celebrities. Anything. If you it look like she watch one like she watch every single movie. She know about every celebrity. She could not tell about every single influencer. She did proper and she held that title. There was another person on Campion team that had a, a, a brilliant command of, of languages. So them have a history fact that i was even able to recall these individuals it speaks to the fact that the quality of of what they produce is usually of premium standard the fact that it left an indelible impression on me it it because them i'm and i'm seeing their faces even now you're seeing their faces now so i'm not gonna get that from this batch but the fact that we can have remember is it's a headband a headband um, there was this chick on the team. I don't know. She lovely little, lovely, lovely little uh, young lady. I remember when she was introducing herself. And she's like, hi, hi, you know. She was so <laughs> she did so happy, you know. Be like her countenance, you know, be like her exuberance. She just nice. <laughs> and the headband. I'll remember the headband. A big old headband, but she bright. Right, like a girl. Yeah. Now, what I did notice um, was that in the segment where it came on to languages, both schools were very weak. Very weak. Um, there was a question read by Marlene. It's a Spanish question. <laughs> now, for the record, I have a very good friend of mine. Who has an excellent command of both English, of both Spanish and French. And there are times, matter of fact, French is his second language. Uh, he's very fluent. And there are times when questions are read by, Mar by Marlene and he's like, P, me not understand a word that she just said a while ago because the pronunciation them always have are enunciation and different vowels that's in the, 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 the it always, but this time, she never get it bad. There was a Spanish question that was asked. Now, what you have or what the key to translating expressions is to listen out for individual words and try to put them together to try and come up with what the possibility of the expression may be asking. So, for instance, the question that Marin asked, I heard her mention something about los padres. Then she mentioned about ejemplos or, he, or ejemplo. So, los padres, parents, ejemplo, example. So, I said to myself, yeah, something along the lines of parents should set an example for their children. And even that basic expression, me and a, me and a Spanish brains, right? My biggest learning tool was Sesame Street. <laughs> Uno, dos. <laughs> But we never do too bad in a in a high school. We could I get better grades? But just as say, them them should not know more than me. Yeah. 
No Meadowbrook? I wonder did that backslide. Nah, nah, I mean, I attack Christian backslides. Like, backslide, you know what's going backwards. You know, like, you know, they need to get a compass. Um, it's like, that way, that way. That, no, you're going the wrong way. Moon sliding. They went in on 18 and the first three questions they answered wrong. One of them, the guy never wait for the question, the maths question. What's the, what's the factorial for in name? Where did it done? One other one, them never knew who the person was in terms of the visual. Another one, them they know biology. Come on, Meda bro. Come on. I'm mean, that road for no, you know. I mean, that road for no, but. And another day, they are rush Mali. But next, next, next. I would it. 50 more questions and still need to get, get it right but anyway you gave a good fight but still say on the put on best foot forward but so the score at the end of the match was champion on 24 and Meadowbrook on 14 so my opinion will champion make it in the quarterfinals nah 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 so let's see who I'm gonna replace that eighth that eighth person with who I had actually tried to predict. Because it is a moving part, you know. No, no changes, no upsets, no things I got up what we never know about. So, may I wonder who else I got drop out from me eight and replace with somebody else. Too. But my love, my love, the, my love, the excitement, them. And my love when you have different people get a chance to showcase themselves. So, it's not business as usual and it's not easily predictable. But, anyway, guys um have a great monday morning and i'll see you in the morning too